People along Tenberry Drive in Lynchburg can still see yellow police tape tonight following an overnight shooting. As police continue to look for the suspect, a group of pastors and police officers is working to keep people in the area safe. WSLS 10's Rob Mance joins us in the studio tonight. So, Rob, how did this initiative get started? Well, it's actually a community group that meets on the first Thursday of every month, but members say today they felt like they needed to speak directly to the people who are still reeling from seeing two people shot right out their front, outside their front doors. We as the pastors of the community decided enough is enough. James Cam and about 15 other pastors walked the streets Thursday with Lynchburg police officers. They're hearing firsthand accounts of the violence in their community. Yeah. Lives being destroyed and, and it hurts very heavily. Cam says, unfortunately, it's not the first time his group has done this. There's been so many different things and different shootings in our neighborhood in the last few weeks. It's just devastating and, and it's really hurting. Shootings like on Rivermont Avenue, where a man was killed in a drive by, or Younger Park, where two teens were shot. Police say people are scared. Fear of crime is more debilitating than crime itself sometimes. That's why the group decided to go to the source of the violence. Cam says if you can talk about it, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's important that you know that you can share information with the police department and not being concerned that it can come back retaliation on you. And I think that's a lot of the problems we're having. Police say having pastors like Cam with them can also help people feel more open. Sometimes they'll tell clergy or a pastor something that they may not tell a police officer. Um, but that information can, you know, we can still use that information. Cam says it's not work he enjoys, but he will continue to address the source of violence in his community because he says it's the most effective way to solve the problem. We try to encourage the community to be active and if they see something, say something. Well, police and pastors also handed out flyers to people in the Tenbury Square neighborhood, so if they want to report suspicious activity, they'll all have the number to call, and we have that number listed on our website. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.